All right, today this is kind of a speed lesson on binomial. Binomial, bi means what? Two. And binomial means two nomials. Well, basically a binomial is a problem where it can happen two ways. You either make it or you miss it. You're either pregnant or you're not pregnant. You're either uh, going to go to the game or you're not going to go to the game. It can't be three things, okay? It has to be one or the other. See, that's the whole binomial thing. All right, now. If you have a binomial problem, you can solve it this way. I'm going to give you a nice example. Can you picture a kid who's got like an 80% free throw shooting average? You can imagine what, you know, kid plays basketball, or pretty good free throw shooter, 75, or 75, 80% is pretty, pretty decent. Okay, this kid's an 80% free throw shooter, and at the end of the game, he gets 10 free throws to shoot because he gets fouled a lot because the other team's behind and they're trying to catch up and so they usually do a lot of fouling at the end. So this kid gets 10 free throws. Is he for sure going to make 8 out of 10? No. In fact, we can figure out the probability that he will make 8 out of 10 free throws. Isn't that kind of a weird question? It's like a probability inside a probability. It's like inception probability. All right, so probability of getting 8 out of 10 if your average is 80%. I'll show you how you do it. You need this formula. C parenthesis parenthesis. Everybody set this up. It's a C problem just like you've been doing before. Like if we had said, you know, uh, 10 C8. We have 10 things. We're choosing out sets of 8. Well, that's exactly how this starts. He has 10 shots. And we're choosing that he makes 8. The first is going to be make. I always encourage you to make this the positive thing, making it or you know whatever it is that's in the problem that's kind of the more positive thing. And this is the more negative thing, make, miss. His percent of making is 80%. Therefore, what's his percent of missing? 20. Do you get what we've done so far? We've had 10 shots. We're choosing that he makes 8. 80% 80 make, 20% miss. We only need two more little things. And the whole problem is done, and then you just got to do type it on the calculator, and it'll give you the percent chance. Okay. Eighty percent make. We say he's going to have eight of those, and therefore, how many misses would he have to have? Two. There's an example of using the binomial formula. I want you to go type that into your calculator right now. Ten C eight times point eight to the eighth times point two to the second equals and it'll tell you the probability this kid will actually make eight out of ten free throws if he's an eighty percent free throw shooter Wait, need to borrow one come up leave a shoe it is yet yeah, point eight zero is the exact same thing as point eight so so this part goes in the calculator for just to, I know and then after you're done with that you're gonna say times that part and then times that part, and you'll get a big decimal at the end. It'll be like 0.2375 or something like that. Yes, sir? Because he's not going to make, that would imply, okay. For right now, do it this way, and I'm going to show you why that won't work in a minute. Okay? Try it this way. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's based on making a tree. Very good. What this really is, is he might make the first six and then miss the last two, but he might miss the first two and make the last eight. Do you get what I mean? You don't know what order he's going to do it in. And so what this is, is the number of paths on the tree that there would be and this is what you would have to multiply on each of those paths. I know it's hard to imagine all of that right now. And since I have such a limited time to teach you this, I'm just going to kind of show you the formula, show you how to plug the numbers in. What did you get, by the way? Is it like 25% or what? 203? 302, OK. That means that there's only a 30% chance the kid's going to actually make 8 out of 10 free throws. Isn't that weird? He's an 80% free throw shooter. Shouldn't he make 8 out of 10 pretty much for sure? No. Because what might happen? He might get 9 out of 10, right? 
let's figure out the probability that the same kid makes 9 out of 10. See if you can set up the same formula. There's a decent chance he's going to make 9 out of 10. He gets just a little bit lucky, right? We can figure out the probability of that. Go ahead, set up a C with two blanks for making 9 out of 10 this time. So you start this way. 10, choosing to make 9. Point eight oh point two oh all right ten C nine point eight how many of the makes am I gonna have? Nine. How many misses am I gonna have then? One. Put that into your calculator. And last time, there was a 30% chance he was going to do that. I bet this is a little lower percentage chance, but it's probably like, what, 20% or 0.26? Okay. So there's a 26% chance he'll do a little better than average and make 9 out of the 10 shots. Then isn't there also a chance he's going to choke a little bit and get 7 out of 10? Okay, but isn't it really unlikely that a person who's an 80% free throw shooter would only make like 1 out of 10? That would be extremely unlikely that they'd only make... Now, of course, we all know in game situations there can be a lot of pressure and maybe you could choke like that. But if we did it math-wise, we'd be saying 10 shots only making 1. Make 1, miss 9. Figure it out. It's like a decimal. It's extremely small, 0.000. .000. I think. Can you try to type that in quick? 10C1, 0.8 to the 1, 0.2 to the 9. Some of the fast fingers. What you got? Extremely unlikely that'll happen, but there's a chance. Okay. Your homework you already know now is uh, to do worksheet that goes with, I think this is 12.6B, is that, can anybody verify that? Binomial probability worksheet, that's correct. 12.7, excellent, thank you. 12.71, all right. And that's all I've got for the video for today. It's a very short lesson. I'll do more of this stuff on Monday.